Okay, I'm the Education and Exhibits Coordinator. So I'm basically a li liaison between our craftsmen and the school system, uh, working in the schools or doing a community project. So that's really the focus of the program is to bring in our craftsmen to teach on a level to the students that they would not get in their normal, uh, with their normal art teacher. My name is Patrick Robertson and I do a little bit of everything um, concentrating on mixed media sculptures. Here is this vast um, amount of knowledge um, and experiences and different viewpoints and different approaches and what better way to teach than people that that have been working on it for so long and um, have such an obvious love for what they're doing. It helps nurture the arts and it helps broaden um, the knowledge out there of all the different types of arts and crafts. Piedmont Craftsman's Education mission is to um, bring students a keen appreciation of fine craft. That is our main mission and then hopefully to teach them a skill about fine craft on top of that. For me, it's been extremely rewarding to bring that to, to students uh, and bring something beyond what they get in their normal uh, classrooms and to be able to witness their excitement is very uh, rewarding. My name is David Bennett and I'm a glass artist. I feel like it's worth my time to give them the opportunity to see that people can live a life that's, that they're not generally encouraged to live. And I also, I don't want our, our crafts and our skills to be, to disappear into the world of technology and, and everybody lives inside their head and nobody works with their hands and I want that to survive all of this. If we don't educate the next generation, Piedmont Craftsmen won't be around for another 50 years. Our main mission has always been to educate. So hopefully we can provide uh, that instruction and that enthusiasm for fine craft as we go along in our next 50 years. The Mount Tabor Mosaic Project was another incident where we had a short period of time to construct pieces of a project. And I also wanted them to learn the material, the techniques, and have something to show for their efforts. And we came up with making eight inch square tiles. And then we put all of those tiles together to make a, a large piece, which was ended up being seven feet by four feet, three different panels. Besides the fact seeing what the kids came up with, individual tiles for some of them were absolutely stunning. But when I got them together and put those tiles, placed them to, out on the table, it just, I mean, I get goosebumps. The, the way they flowed together just was stunning. It just looked like it had been planned. A lot, of, a lot of them, they just flowed into each other and it was amazing to me. Getting outside of the gallery doors is really important for us to let people know it's not all about buying very fancy jewelry. It's also about learning how that jewelry is made by our craftsmen and by our how-to nights. Uh, that is a community-based for free that they can come in and not we don't expect them to buy anything in the gallery, just have an appreciation when we leave. If they have an appreciation when they leave the gallery doors of fine craft, then we, we did our job.